Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how you can drop in core elements created for you by the Polymer team that take care of little functionality for you. And the example that we're going to be using today is the core tooltip. So it's basically going to be a tooltip where you don't have to code any JavaScript, any CSS, or anything like that. We simply pass it a couple of parameters, put in our text, and it's going to create a tooltip for us. So let's check it out. We're going to get into that right now. So to get started, the first thing we want to do is grab the core elements. Now the core elements include all sorts of different elements that we can show you within the Polymer documentation here, and we'll do that in just a second after we install them into our project. If you come to the Polymer Projects website, polymer-project.org, and then we go to slash docs slash elements slash core hyphen elements, uh, you'll see we're greeted with this page that says get the Polymer core elements with a nice large button here. You can also get here by going elements and then element guides and then using elements uh, that will also get you to a place where you can find this button. Um, so once we have this get the Polymer core elements, we can click this button. Now what this does is it essentially tells us several ways we can install Polymer, but since we've been using Bower already, we're going to go ahead and install with Bower. Now this command says Bower install Polymer core elements. I'm going to copy this exactly like this. However, uh, I'm also going to use the hyphen hyphen save that we used before because that's going to save it in our Bower config file. So from the root of our project, I'm just going to paste this in, this Bower install Polymer slash core hyphen elements. However, but before the Polymer part, I'm going to do hyphen hyphen save and then a space. So just like that. Now we can hit enter. That's going to install the Polymer core elements into our project and save this information into our Bower config. Now because we already had the core component page installed from when we installed Polymer in the first place, it's asking us which version we would want to use. Uh, it says version 4 point, or 0 0.4 or 0 0.5.0. I'm going to pick the latest version and just say number 2, 0 0.5.0. Now again, it's asking me the same for which version of Polymer. I'm just going to go ahead and select the latest, which is 0 0.50. Okay, now we have all of our core components installed. Now what this doesn't mean is it doesn't mean we're using any of these core components yet. So let's come back to our code. And as you can see, nothing's really changed in our code, of course, because we're really just installing these components into this Bower components folder. And you can see what used to only be one or two folders in here is now a whole ton of folders. So what we have are things like the core dropdown, core docs, uh, core collapse, core animation. Uh, there are a lot of elements here, and each of these sort of do different things. In fact, if we want to learn more about these elements, we can go directly to Polymer's documentation, and then under uh, core elements here, under the elements tab, it's going to list out all of these elements. So here we can scroll through and sort of see what exists, and uh, let's check these out. So let's actually check out the core tooltip. So what we have here is we can get the core tooltip individually by clicking this, and it's going to tell us how we can install just the core tooltip by itself so we don't have to install every component uh, like we just did. Uh, so that's great if there's a particular component or a set of components you want to use. It's going to be smarter to grab just the components you need instead of all of them. But for this example, we're just playing around with it. It's no harm in downloading all of them. Now we also want to see how this thing works, so let's see the demo. I'm just going to open up this core tooltip demo in a new tab, and you can see we have a nice demo here where you can toggle some functionality here. So we have a position left, a position top, position bottom, position right. Uh, when you hover over this, it's a fancy effect. You can see it just sort of fades in. Rich tooltip with HTML, and it's not just text larger tooltips for mobile, and then this one is completely disabled. So as you can see, this element basically just allows us to have what you're used to when using a standard tooltip. Let's go ahead and take some of their example code directly, this core tooltip, I'm a tooltip, and just drop it directly into our code. 
So I'm coming to my HTML here and just below our hello world element, actually let's just remove our hello world element entirely. I'm going to paste this in and you can see that this is a little bit different already from our previous elements that we've built. So what's great about using these core elements is that not only do you get experience uh, using these pre-made elements that you don't have to remake yourself, but you also get to see some of the techniques that have been made by the Polymer team themselves so that you can build better elements yourselves. So we have this core tool tip uh, and then inside of it's going to be a span. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to our browser and refresh. And we have this hover over me and nothing happens. Well, sure we use this element, we've installed the uh, Bower core components, but as you can see, we're not actually loading up those elements at all. So we can just have another script tag. And the source for this is going to be uh, within Bower components as well. So it's Bower underscore components. And then you'll notice that we have uh, down here, we have web component JS folder. And inside of here, we have a webcomponents.min.js. So let's go ahead and just paste that in there. So let's go ahead and just paste that in there. This is just going to give us some additional browser support, okay? So that's good, we're loading up webcomponents.js. Now, like we imported our hello world.html, we're also gonna to wanna to import this core tool tip. So actually, let's get rid of our hello world for now. And we actually don't even need this platform.js. So let's go ahead and modify this hello world.import that we have here to actually be the uh, element that we want to be using. So if you'll go in your Bower components folder, you should be able to find the core tooltip, which we have right here. And then inside of here, we have core tooltip.html. So just like we called our elements hello world, we can do the same thing. And I'm gonna copy this Bower component so there's no spelling mistakes. And then we'll call core hyphen tooltip. And then inside of that, we want the core tooltip.html. So as you can see, instead of importing some sort of hello world or custom element that we've created, all we're doing is directing our link to the component that we actually want to use. Okay, so we now have this core tooltip file loaded up. We're using our core tooltip. Let's go ahead and refresh our page now. Let's hover over this guy and you can see that we have this I'm a tooltip showing up and we didn't have to do any CSS, we didn't have to do any JavaScript, we just added a couple files and all of a sudden we have this tooltip and you can see it's getting the I'm a tooltip text directly from this label. Um, obviously we can edit this, save it, refresh and see our text is changing here as well. Now let's head back towards the Polymer documentation here. And you can see we have some more options. We can pass in things like position right. So let's go ahead and pass in this attribute here. And just like this, just like any attribute in an HTML element, we're just calling position right. And like we've seen when we were creating our own custom elements, it just works, right? Um, passing in these attributes, they know what to do with it. And looking more at the Polymer documentation here, you can see that it's really clear what you should be doing, right? To disable the tooltip, you simply add disable. No arrow, add no arrow. Configuration options like this that you can just drop into your project and it just works. So this has been a basic introduction on using the core elements. What we're gonna do in the next video is gonna be showing you layout elements. There are going to be elements that you can lay out your project with and those are gonna be super helpful in quickly getting started with a layout for your page. And then after that, we're actually gonna start pawing through some of these elements, see what makes them tick, and then build some even cooler things based on what we've learned. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tuts. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.